Good morning, everybody. We are on our way to Laredo still. We are cruising across uh, 40 West through Arkansas. And I just wanted to kind of just some random thoughts again. Uh, first thing I want to talk on just uh, just when you have a couple of vans and you're driving yourself and you're just a smaller operation like I, like I am I don't have no fleet manager in place or anything there is just a ton of phone calls like a ton just so far this morning it's not even noon yeah, and I've probably, I think I've been on the phone for the most of the part since, uh, since about nine, or no, about eight o'clock central, and it is, uh, 11 o'clock central right now, so yeah, I've been on the phone pretty much that entire time, uh, some of it personal, some of it business, uh, the driver got the van dropped off this morning, I had a buddy of mine, uh, give him a ride up to the airport, my buddy is checking out the van, going to get the oil change, uh, getting the tires rotated and balanced, getting it washed and cleaned, uh, just making sure everything works, just getting everything all together, just making sure everything's uh, settled in for the new driver when I hire a new driver. Uh, I also had to take care of an easy pass account. driver Bobby which is crazy that they've just uh, just now gotten around to it or whatnot. but uh, he used to be in that van and he, he, he was paying his own tolls at that point uh, in my transponder that's in there it just wasn't registered to that vehicle so when he left and, and cancelled his, you know, took his transponder and I put mine in there and all that good stuff uh, it was still registering the plates because the transponder wasn't activated for that vehicle, it was still showing for the 19, but the plates were registered under his old uh, his old account. So they was charging his account. So he got a hold of me the other day to let me know. So I called in there this morning, just just got off the phone with him actually about 15 minutes ago, and got that bill taken care of. It was like it was only like 56 bucks, uh, but got that all straightened out got the transponder activated to that vehicle so now all three vehicles all have the transponders in them they need everything's all good to go with that uh, so yeah that's that uh, one of the things I wanted to mention that, that, that I wanted to get on here for was uh, you know I, I think one of the most common questions and one of the most common things that goes on with people that are looking to get into this industry, get into, just just in general, just into uh, making money with a van. Uh, the most common thing is, hey, I got a van. What do I do next? <laughs> hey, I, you know, the, the initial, the, the knee-jerk reaction is like, the fuck? Like, what? Because you automatically think, okay, they've taken the time to watch the videos or talk to people or they knew they had to have some kind of something that triggered them to go get a van and think that they can make money with it. Obviously something. So when they ask that question, it's just, like I said, it's just like you're scratching your head like... Why? Why did you do that? If you if you have to ask that question once you've bought a van, you're definitely not ready to have bought a van. Uh, I, 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 yeah, I'm just I'm just kind of uh, taking it back at that question each time, and <laughs> because at that point it's almost like, hey, I went and did the easy part. I got possession of a van. Now I want you to take and hold my hand and help me do everything else. Uh, you know, there's many of us in different industries that do these do these uh, YouTube videos and Facebook posts and Facebook groups because we want to help. We want to share information. We want to help people that are 
that are in the industry or coming into the industry to you know to tighten up their game to to not fail do their best to not fail give them all the resources and, and uh, available information that we can without giving up our own way to make a living you know that's one thing you can't do I try to be as transparent as possible but at the same time they're going to be just small little things that I am going to hold back because if I didn't it would screw me. I mean, it would put me out of. It would put me in a in a more difficult situation. But at the same time, with everything that's given, if you're doing what you should be doing, you're still gonna you're gonna make a dude. That dude. Sorry, that was a squirrel moment. That was a that was a van that had Bolt Express on it and BH Express. Huh. Those two were exclusive carriers from my understanding so that's kind of odd now Bolt did recently has recently put out ads saying that you know basically you can get loads through them and whatnot but I don't know about dual logoing like that those were like big it wasn't like those were just yeah that was odd sorry about that that was just odd I'm gonna have to look into that but uh anyhow there's enough information shared out there for you to be able to succeed if you're able to process all the information. So, I just want to say this. If you get a van and you're expecting somebody to take you by the take you by the hand and take you to the exact spot for you to make a living, you're just asking for failure and you're asking too much. Uh, all the information is out there. Now, certain questions like, hey, what carriers do you suggest or what brokers do you suggest or, you know, uh, do you suggest I go independent, multi-carrier, exclusive, you know, questions like that, that, that's fine. But like, what do I do next? How do, or how do I get a load? That, that's the question. That's the exact question that is kind of just like, really? Is, I've got a van. Now, how do I get a load? It's like, Oh my God! You, if you're doing things the right way, you should know what you're going to do the van, do with the van once you have it. Now I understand there's a few people out there that have a van and then they come across some information and they've already got the van and now they're looking for a way to put it to work because they found out they could. I, I get that, but like if you went out and purchased yourself a van or got a van in your possession somehow and you don't know your options after that you like you don't know if your your plan of attack is to go knock on doors you know go to an industrial park with manufacturing or an airport but you know freight forwarders or whatnot knock on doors and try to get freight that way or if you're not you don't know to go look at a courier companies locally you know is your plan to be over the road or is it to be local and try to be home all the time because that also changes a lot of things you should know those you know what direction you want to take with that as well uh, you should know hey I need to be sure that the type of van I'm going to get is going to be okay for what I'm wanting to do uh, there's, there's just a lot of stuff uh, you know, I've tried to think of a way to to package that information to make it more simplified and uh, and readily available like uh, maybe I need to go in and and add it to it and put it put together a video with all that information you know what to do before you buy a van and then make sure it's in every description to every video I don't know I'm not sure how I need to do that exactly that's something I'll need to look into but guys <laughs> please have an idea of what you want to do with the van before you buy a van like, if you go and buy a van, that's another thing, especially if you're in the groups and just in general. If you go get a van and then you're just flat out asking, how do I get a load? That is not going to go over well with people. And, and here's the thing about why in these Facebook groups and even these videos in general, there's some haters. is because, you know, people that are out here and been out here, they put a lot of work into what they're doing and to get to where they're at. You know, like like for me, for instance, uh, you know, and, I, and, and that's the 
thing. I don't want people to have to go through what I've went through to get here. But at the same time, I want them to be willing to go through what I went through to get where I'm at. And that is driving a van, an older van, cargo van, no bunk, no e-tracks, piece of plywood laid on the floor, no insulation, no power windows, no power inverter, no auxiliary batteries, no fans, no, I didn't even have a plug-in fan, no power windows, no cruise control, no, uh, no straps, no, uh, half the lights, I mean, it was, it was just a bad situation, and, you know, I don't want you to go through that, so that's why we try to share the information, but, uh, guys, just, if you come out here and you make those, ask those questions and you get in a group, that's why you're going to get the because the guys that have went through that, they, they feel like you need to earn it. That's one, that's one of the biggest reasons people get hated on in the comments and in Facebook when they ask certain questions and all that negativity hits is because, you know, they don't, they feel like you're taking from them. Like if they share this information that they've earned and, and, come across through experience of being on the road of years or months or however long it's been uh, that they've been driving, they don't like to just hand it away because that's what they feel like they're doing. Uh, and, and at times, that does feel like what some people are asking for. And that's not what I'm here for personally. I'm not here to, to just say, here, I'm going to just do everything for you. And all you got to do is go get the van and follow the steps. I mean, to an extent, I'm doing that, but I'm not doing it to the point to where, like, I don't want to, like, I don't like to answer that question anymore, to be honest, because I feel like when you ask that question and you've done that, like, you've went that route and you've done that and that's the question you're asking, I feel like you're not trying to put in enough effort. Like, I want you to want to work. I want you to want to dig through the information. Um... Uh, I understand the information isn't super easy to find, but it's out there. I mean, if it wasn't out there, I wouldn't be right here. I mean, that's just that. Uh, again, like especially having access to the Facebook groups and stuff, that was that was a tremendous change in how how things are done on the road. Because prior to that, you know, didn't have access to under to seeing what everybody was doing. You know. Uh, as far as builds and everything. Like, I looked in some vans and everything. I seen some minor stuff, but, like, to have access to the amount of information that's in these Facebook groups and on YouTube videos, because prior to my first few years, I wasn't involved in social media, so I didn't have access to none of that. Like, it's out there, man. Like, yeah, you know, things would have went probably a lot quicker for me moving up the ladder had I had access to that, like, like most people do. Because... I'm seeing these questions on my YouTube channel or I'm seeing them on Facebook. So obviously these people have the same access to all this information. And it just, it's always troubling and a little frustrating when people aren't taking the, aren't putting in the effort to, to cipher through all the information, to go through it, you know. Uh, everybody so, so often anymore is just quick to want it quick and easy, you know, instant gratification, you know, instant results, Google, Google has just killed things like that, it made people accustomed to getting information, and, and, and you know, easier, uh, guys, just, like I said, just go through the information, it's all there, get on all the Facebook groups, get on YouTube, if you're not, and you're wanting to stay in the stone ages, and try and find information, yeah, it's going to be more difficult for you. So, you know, because I... And the reason I make that comment right there is because there are some people that, that you talk to, uh, especially out here on the road that are out here already, you, you want to try to help their situation out, try to help them, you know, get access to a little bit more information on how to do things a little easier and fix their vans up or get them a little more comfortable. And, oh, I don't do fucking Facebook. I don't do YouTube. Well, guy, yeah, I mean... There you go, then. You're going to always be sitting here bitching that you're cold, bitching that you're too hot, bitching about this, bitching about that, when things could be, you know, improved for your situation if you just chose to get access to that information. So, yeah. So, for
for what it's worth, man, that like I said, that's just my ramblings, guys. Just the, the moral of the story is put in the effort. Don't expect everybody to just walk you through everything. Don't expect everything to be given to you out here. A lot of us have worked really hard to get where we're at, and uh, that's why you're going to get the haters. Also, at the same time, that's part of the point of the story is to don't let the negative stuff distract you when you are looking for information because that's why they're coming after you. That's why they're pissed off. That, And again, some of these people, they had a bad week. They didn't get a lot of miles. They've been sitting. Their vans broke down. They dealt with a bad driver. They, Whatever. Just certain things can happen. So at the same time, you know, push through all the negative shit if you see negative comments and everything. The information is out there. Just go get it. Your hustle got to be strong in this industry, as in any other industry.